Y'all get ready. Yes, you get Y'all ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys. I hope you guys are doing good. So I have to come on here and talk about the whole bad baby. Bitch, what the fuck? A.K.A. Catch Me Outside. Catch Me Outside. How about that? Her beef with Sky Jackson. Uh, uh. So once again, this entire situation is insane. Yesterday, we were all on social media minding our own business. And then here comes Daniel Bagoli, a.k.a. Cash Me Outside, cussing out Sky Jackson, basically accusing her of throwing shade. And, you know, low-key using other profiles on Instagram to disrespect her because, you know, Bad Baby is allegedly talking to NBA Youngboy. She's been into it lately with a lot of young girls behind NBA Youngboy like he's not a father of five, okay? So this entire situation is insane. This is what Bad Baby first wrote on Instagram. Y'all go ahead and check this out. So somebody named um, Nine Trey Princess says, Can somebody hook me up with YB? He is so fine to me, Lord. So she replies and she says, see what I'm saying? Funny how she posts this after posting my tattoo of his name saying I'm obsessed with herpes dick. Then you want to go say that he's fine. Girl, get the fuck out of here. Hide, bitch, hide. By the way, I know y'all dumb assholes going to think I'm pressed because she posted YB. No, I posted this one specifically because she was about me and him saying he got herpes and all that. It's not about it being him. She do literally do this with every dude I talk to. I swear this little girl got mental issues. She's not happy being herself. Not really sure why she want to be a rapper girlfriend so bad. Like, bitch, get alive while you steady trying to live minds. Girl, if her mama don't get her back enrolled in fucking school and classes, that was my first struggle read of 2020. I mean, come on now, you talking all this shit. You don't know the difference between life and live? Girl, get it together. So anyways, after that, she went on a stupid rant, threatened to kill the girl. I mean, it got really crazy on social media. Y'all go ahead and check this out. I want to know why. Every time I'm seen with a dude, bitches want to get get all up all up on they pal that. Yeah, the bitch is a big fan. Bitch, you're a huge fan. You're a whole fan. Like, because it's so she's moving sneaky, bro. Don't go post about me on your fake page, bitch. If you got something to say about me, post it on your page. Show me you fucking bold. The fuck? Show me you fucking bold. So she blocked you? Bro, the bitch got me blocked on Instagram, blocked on Twitter. Oh, All type of shit. You. Like, bitch, grow up. Uh, uh. That shit, I don't, that shit don't sit right with me. That shit don't sit right with me at all. I don't like that shit. Like, you don't even know if I'm talking to dude or not. You just seen us on Shade Room, so now you want to go fucking run and go like his bitches. Bitch, I'll kill you. I'll really kill you. Like, the fuck wrong with you, dumb asshole? Like, come on. Go see him on the page talking about, oh, he's so fine. Hook me up with him. He's so fine. Right. Bitch, you are lame as fuck. You are lame. Before y'all start thinking I'm be tripping about young boy, it ain't even about young boy. Because I don't care about what that man do. I don't care about what he got going on. That, that was old when she did that. That was the first person she did that with. But now she thinks she want to play. Bitch, I, t- <laughs> I, I did you don't even know. Bitch, you don't even know what I would do to you. You don't even know what the fuck I would do to you. So stop fucking trying to play with me. And let me find out you and don't ever come to Glam House, bitch. You want to beat me so bad and get your nails done by the people I forgot to get my nails done with? Bitch, don't ever come here, bitch, because I will kill you. Come on, outside. I will kill you. <laughs> but I don't care if you getting your nails done. I don't care what the fuck going on. I will walk up in this bitch and dog you. And you know my best friend going to let me know you in here. You dumb ass dog ass hoes. Don't you got a, com- don't you got a commercial to go shoot, bitch? Finding Nemo, fucking whatever the fuck you be doing. I'm finna go to jail behind the Disney thought. Oh my well, god! That's what, that's what Quanta called her, right? A Disney thought. <laughs> oh my god! <sighs> like, bitch, what is you even doing in these men's DMs? You ain't even like that. You ain't even like that. Oh, this bitch. Wait, hold on. <laughs> All right, so you guys just saw her ranting, raving. 
So then what ended up happening is that once she threatened to kill Sky Jackson, Sky Jackson's mother, her name is Kia Cole, she then got involved. And so she started going off. And then Bad Baby's mother also got involved and they started going back and forth. This entire situation is a hot ratchet mess. This is when Trailer Park meets the damn projects. Y'all go ahead and check this out. Go to hell. Your kid would rather be with any other mother here I than with you. I will stand here and let you touch my child like that. Everybody else will, I will not. I am so sick of that. Claudia, let's go. Go. So Bad Baby says you should have got a hold of that fence that she has. So Kia Cole says, at Bad Baby, let me tell you something, little girl. I'm definitely not one to be played with. Don't come on my damn page with your trashy negativity. How about you put your address and phone number in my DM, and I will gladly have a conversation with your mother. I'm not having it. Take this shit somewhere else and leave my damn daughter alone. So then at that point, Brooklyn for Life, who is Bad Baby's mother, she jumped in. She says, at Kia Cole, Oh, listen to you preach and tell your daughter to stop speaking on mine. You think you are calling my daughter ratchet? Remember, I come from New York too. And then Kia responds back to her and she says, Bitch, you ain't saying nothing but a word. If you want a problem with me, I will surely give you one. The only ass you'll be beating is your own daughter's as we have all seen. You best leave me and mine alone. I will stomp a mud hole in your sloppy ass. Again, ratchet see, ratchet do. Now I'm calling you ratchet. And what? So then Bad Baby's mama replies and she says, Aw, you hurt my feelings. Guessing that Disney money too good, your poor daughter can't be a girl she wants to be. And then she also replies and says this, You really think you scare me? Sorry, girl. Like I said, I come from New York too. So then Kaya replies back and she says, Telling me you're from NY don't mean a damn thing to me. Your daughter is a hot ass mess, always barking like a little chihuahua on her social media like she has no damn home training. Take that ghetto shit back to Florida and get the fuck off my damn timeline. I do welcome you to DM me your info though. And then at that point, Bad Baby comes on and she says, At Kia Cole, I DM'd you my address already. And then uh, Kia replies and she says, trust and believe me, sweetheart. We have more than Disney money out here. You're corny as fuck. You can't verbally hang with me. Just take your ass to sleep. Honey. Now, you know it's bad when the mamas get into it, okay? You know it's bad when Trilla Park Trash meets the damn hood. Round one. Fight. So... Once things got a little bit too hot, Sky decided to reply, which, you know, she replied in a low-key way. So this is what Sky Jackson had to say. Y'all go ahead and check this out. So Sky Jackson says, booked, doing pretty well, finalizing makeup deal, shopping treatments to major studios and producers, working on speeches for TED Talk, going over scripts, recording Netflix animated series, vlogging for my YouTube channel, hosting at 18,000 Youth for We Day, no time for negativities. So that is what Sky Jackson had to say. So this entire situation is just a hot damn mess. You know, my thing is this is like the second or third time that Sky has been, you know, involved in some social media beef. So at this point, I'm giving everybody the side eye. I'm like, you know, is she doing things behind the scenes? Because other people have accused her of this as well because she has to, you know, keep up her Disney image. So is she throwing rocks and hiding her hands? We all know people like that, not saying that she is. But with that being said, I am so over this bad baby chick. I don't understand why she's still a thing, okay? She should have fizzled out years ago after her 15 minutes of fame ran out on Dr. Phil. And since then, she has this huge social media following. She has a legitimate music career. I mean, the whole situation is crazy. But the way she pops off, the way she talks, and the fact that her mother condones that bullshit just solidifies everything that we've always suspected. You know what I'm saying? Her mom let her get away with so much and let her talk to her crazy and disrespect her that, of course, she has no respect for other people, other adults, and things like that. It's one thing to go back and forth with Sky Jackson. It's another thing to then bring that drama to her mom's page. But again, this young girl's looking for attention. She's looking for validation. She's looking for clicks and views. And that's why she does the stuff that she does. But eventually, she's going to write a check that her ass can't cash and somebody's actually going to cash her ass outside and it's not going to be pretty 
And if her mom does not get a hold of her daughter now, while she's been 16 for the past three damn years, it's only going to get worse from here. You know, so at this point, all that energy that she puts out there, you know, the whole, uh, I'm going to give you my address, come pull up. Eventually, somebody's going to pull up. And you may not like what they pull up to do to your ass, okay? Because she's threatened way too many people on social media. She was going after somebody else a few months ago, a Latino girl down in Florida, showed up to the girl's house trying to fight her. I'm waiting on my uncle to come here to watch my nieces and my nephews. As soon as my uncle gets here to watch my nieces and my nephews, bitch, I'm on my way to beat the fuck out of you, okay? I'm on my motherfucking way to beat the fuck out of you. As soon as he get fucking gets here, bitch, I'm on my way. Trust me, I'm on my way. Know that hoe won't call the police. That ain't even a motherfucking question you know that hoe won't call the police. You think listen, you are in problem? No, it's okay, listen. <laughs> listen, what I'm telling you is this. If I leave your property right now, okay. like you're asking me, you need to promise me that your stepdaughter or whatever she is is not going to go back on the internet and talk shit about me again. Because I promise you, if she talks shit about me, I'm going to come right back to the same spot I'm standing, and I promise you, I'll walk up in that fucking house next time. Speak it slow. Tell them what I said, then. I understand what you say. I understand what you say. Okay, so then that's what I'm saying. Okay, that's I'm okay. okay. So promise me that. That okay. if she gets on I this thing again, thank you. I promise thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's, that's it. it. I'm done. Thank you. I'm telling you, I swear to God on my life, she get back on that fucking internet talking one word about me. I'm coming back and I'm walking through that fucking. She coming. She coming. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wasting gas money on me. But let me tell you, dogs always come to me. Be like you, girl. Period. Period. She don't want to fight me. She don't want to fight me. Why can't we just have a fair fight? We don't want a fair fight. There's no way to do that. Why not? No one's going to call no police. Just ZZ. Don't go on their property, ZZ. Forget about the police. You can go in. You can go in. I'm not going to call the police. Tell her, come on. There is no reason for what? Ella quiere solo hacer una y uno. Three years straight, she has something to say about me. So I'm here to find out what's up. I'm talking what? And people really think this is cute. But the reason why they think it's cute because she's a little white girl. If this was a black girl behaving this way, she'd have no career to speak of. If this was a little 15-year-old black girl pulling up to people's houses, trying to fight them over rappers, behaving badly, cussing out adults, she would have no career to speak of, point blank, period. Daniel Bogoli, a.k.a. Cash Me Outside, a.k.a. Bad Baby, gets away with this bullshit because she's white. Let's keep that real. That's exactly why she gets away with it. And as soon as you call her out and you call on her bullshit for perpetuating the worst attributes of black women... Because all she is is a walking stereotype. Then she's the first one to scream reverse racism and all this goofy shit. The little girl needs to grow the hell up and why her mom keeps screaming she's from New York and she'll beat Sky Jackson's mama's ass and all this goofy shit. Bitch, you couldn't even whip your daughter's ass. I don't want to hear none of that. Okay, you being from New York means nothing. You couldn't even control your own household. Your daughter was whooping your ass, okay? So don't get it twisted. Nobody's scared of you because you're from New York. Nobody thinks you have hands. Your own child don't respect you. Period, point blank. So while you're trying to beat up somebody else's mom and trying to, you know, fight them and keep stuff going, you need to clean up your own damn household. I just wish her and her trailer park daughter, I wish they would literally just disappear into oblivion. Just move on. You know what I'm saying? There was no reason for this girl to ever get famous. But again, I blame social media. I blame all these black folks who were co-signing her, making up dances, gassing her ass up. Because like I said, had that been a little black girl on Dr. Phil, they would not have reaped any benefits of their ratchetness. Okay? That little girl, uh, I think her name was Treasure, who was trying to talk shit about black people. Did she blow up? Was she able to monetize that shit? Absolutely not. But meanwhile, this girl has monetized it and is living high off the hog, playing a ratchet ass stereotype. Her and her trailer trash mom. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire messy situation, honey. Once again, concerning Cash Me Outside, looking to start to mess with Sky Jackson. How do you guys feel about this? And do you guys agree with me that, you know, I have the right to kind of give Sky Jackson the side eye as well? Because it seems like she's starting to be involved in a lot of mess on the internet. Like I said, it's about the third story we done of Sky Jackson and people accusing her of throwing rocks and hiding her hands. So I don't think Sky Jackson's all the way innocent anymore. Because like I said, when I start seeing a pattern, I got to give you the side eye. But with that being said, that does not excuse Daniel Bagoli's behavior. That does not excuse Daniel Bagoli's 
you know, for threatening her and going off on her mom and being all the way disrespectful. She's all the way out of pocket. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the thumbs up. And last but not least, make sure you hit the notification bell so that way you can be done with the notification squad. So let me know your thoughts on this entire ratchet situation. All right. Deuces.